But this one is particularly great for me because my father-in-law, Larry Laybourne, who was a Republican, people here know I'm a lifelong Democrat, but Larry Laybourne was my mentor and he was my model in what a businessman should actually be. That's until I met Leo. He was a friend of John Gardner. He was one of the first members of Common Cause. And I have to be perfectly honest, I thought John Gardner was a Republican. And um, just, was he a Republican? Yeah. Okay, well, good. Then I'm not that far off. <laughs> but, you know, I was struck by the remarks of Bill Samuels that, you know, we have had better conversations party to party at just about any time in our history. But back to Leo, Common Cause, John Gardner, and mentorship. Leo also had a mentor, Ed Littlefield, who had a similar relationship with John Gardner. So both of us are tied to this man in a very honorific way. John Gardner would have loved Leo Hendrick. He would have loved the kind of leader that Leo was in business because Leo believed that business should be conducted not just for short-term quarterly earnings, but for employees, for shareholders, for communities, for constituents, and that it should be their duty to be true leaders in the world. I adore Leo Hendry, not just because he bent over backwards for minorities in the cable industry. He made sure that women and African Americans had a real chance to make a difference. He wanted to make sure that they got a fair break in our industry. And not just because he supported my fledgling entrepreneurial company, Oxygen, and gave us a chance to be the only woman-owned and operated network in the whole wide world. I adore Leo not just because he has been a leader in the fight against AIDS and tuberculosis and malaria, but for the totality of who he is as a businessman, a citizen, a devoted father, and a spectacular mentor. I admire him for looking out for integrity in business. He is, but he is known and beloved by anyone who worked for him because he believed in the ultimate respect and personal dignity of each and every employee. He knew all their names, no matter how big his company was. And people tripped over themselves for Leo. They would never let him look bad because he did the very same thing for them. Leo holds radical political beliefs. Here's a crazy one. He believes in a robust, healthy middle class and that we need to get on the road to building that again. And here's another one of his crazy ideas. He's passionate about citizens stepping up to understand the issues that impact them and getting involved. I was reminded by Bill of one of my favorite Eleanor Roosevelt quotes, which I kind of will paraphrase right now. She said, we all spend so much time thinking about the sins of aggression, war, and cruelty, and too little about the sins of passivity, which are idleness, laziness, and not getting involved, apathy. Leo is the opposite. He thinks special interest money should get out of politics. He's not too keen on the shenanigans surrounding redistricting. He has a lot in common with Common Cause. He is a wonderful combination of raw intellect and endless energy, of business acumen and infinite compassion and empathy. He sees what needs to be done and steps up. He collaborates with many worlds. In one year, he was named the, a founder of the Society of Jesuits and also got an honorary degree from the Rabbinical College of America. 
<laughs> Leo's board span everything from the Council for Foreign Relations to Teach for America, from Columbia School of Journalism Board of Visitors to the New American Foundation, where he chairs the task force on job creation and training. These are not small concerns that Leo gives his brain, time, and money to. These are concerns for our very future. Now there's only one thing that really bugs me about Leo, and that's this race car driving that he's done. And he has a tattoo on his left shoulder of the tour that he took around Le Mans. He won twice. Now the reason I'm not crazy about this is because every time Leo Hendry went off to one of these races, we all were worried sick because, my friends, there is no other Leo Hendry. It's now my proud pleasure to present the award to Leo Hendry.